Hello, welcome to my corner of YouTube. My name is Marissa and I am the maker behind Missouri Knicks. I crochet and knit. I dabble in dyeing yarn and making stitch markers and whatever else I can get my hands on. I love crafty things. Um, I thought that I would make this channel just to um, kind of log or record my makes and what I do. Um, I don't know if anybody else would like to watch this, but if so, hi. Um, I am from originally from Arkansas, and um, when I got married back in December, I um, I moved to Donovan, Missouri. And since I've been here, um, I've made a few things. I slowed down for a little bit because, um, some personal family stuff. And, um, when I, I did very little. And whenever I got up here, I decided that I wasn't going to continue to have that funk. And so, I made some stuff. Um, whenever my husband... And I started dating. He thought it was cool that I crocheted and knitted and stuff. He was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> my grandma does that. He didn't understand the process of it. And I still don't understand all of the process of knitting because I've only knitted for about a year. I'm actually currently working on my first sweater. So it's still a learning experience. And I still learn new stuff with crochet. But I've been crocheting for... Mm, since I was probably about 14 or so. Um, so I'm more experienced in that. I can make just about anything. I still have to have help on some stuff. Um, but he asked for blankets. Sorry about that. I dropped my book. I decided that I was going to write notes down so that I wouldn't forget stuff. So, um, but he asked for a blanket. And... I knew that was going to take a lot of yarn because my husband is 6'4", very tall man, in my opinion, because I'm barely 5'5". Five five. And so I'm thinking, that's going to take some yarn. And so I decided that because I have a real bad habit of buying one skein of yarn that I like because it's pretty. You can hear my dog. She wants to come back inside. Um, but I have a real bad habit of buying one skein because it's pretty. So I don't have blanket quantities of yarn just laying around. I do have a bunch of yarn, but I have one skein here, one skein there, you know? So I decided to grab all of my scraps because I, I make a lot of stuff. I make little stuff. I make big stuff. And so I've got little balls of yarn laying around because I don't, I don't throw that away. I put it to the side and... Um, make something else with it. Add it to something. So, um, blanket. It's too big to put on screen. But I'll show you a little bit of it. I tell them all the time it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. But it just, it consists of all of the scraps that I've had. And I still have a bunch more scraps. So, but, um. I got this pattern off of the Secret Yarnery, which, I mean, anything that I mention here, I'll try to make sure that I link it down below so that you can check it out yourself. Um, but I got it from the Secret Yarnery. It's called Baby Granny Ruth Stitch, I think. I'm not sure, but it'll be linked down at the bottom. Um, but it's a really, really pretty stitch. And, um, I had originally made it long enough that I could take and we could both lay underneath it while we sat on the couch, sit underneath it, whatever. And it was taking forever. I worked on that thing for months. And it seemed like it was never growing. And, um, finally I tried it on them to see where it was at because I wanted to, um, uh, Kind of get a gist of how much. And I was about halfway there. And um, 
he turned he turned it around to where it was long ways and he's like but this right here is long enough for me if you stop now you wouldn't have to uh add any more to it it would be done i'm thinking you know i really wanted a blanket that we both could lay under but at the same time i wanted to be done with it and so i took and put just a simple I did a um, shell stitch border that's what it is there's a shell stitch border there and then I added a double crochet single crochet whatever this white is and then I added a double crochet border here just to finish it off and it gave it another inch and a half or so and so but I haven't woven in all my ends on the um the youtube channel the video that she shows you um she shows you how to make tassels to go with the blanket so that you don't have to hide in all the ends because she takes and I believe she does every row a different color I'm not quite sure but um that's a lot of ends to hide and that's what I was doing. I was changing every row. And so, um, can you tell my dog likes a blanket too? <laughs> um, but she changes every row, I believe. And so she shows you how to do the tassels or the fringe on the ends so that you don't have to hide in the ends. And I didn't do that. He didn't want fringe on his. So <laughs> I've got to hide all the ends. I'm being lazy about it because I don't like hiding men's in very much. But that's that. It's done. It's a big blanket. It's awesome. But he carries it everywhere. We went to um, a warming center. A church was uh, opening their doors at night for the homeless. And he's like, I, I got to have a blanket. And so he, take, he takes his blanket all the time. And so um, that's that. Let's see what else. Oh. Let's. Next thing is that I was going to show you. Now, I've never done socks. I tried to do socks a few months ago. And they didn't work out. I didn't have. I had the. Um, I can't even remember what size needle it was. But I had the um, long cord. And I was going to do, is it, um, magic loop? I, I don't know. But my socks, whenever I was working them, it was in purple yarn because I was going to make me socks. Uh, I ended up taking them out because whenever I was working them, there was ladders on the sides where the magic loop was going. And I didn't like that. I don't know how to fix that. I don't know how to prevent it. I don't. I don't know whenever I look it up there's I can't find anything that tells me how to keep from having them or how to fix them and so I just took it out and my husband he was like I want a pair of socks so I knew that I had this yarn here you will like um, it's a number one weight and there's 678 yards, 100 grams, 620 meters, I believe. Okay, it's 85 acrylic, 15th nylon. And um, it's really soft. I've got a couple of these. And I've been told that I can take and make a pair of socks with 100 grams. And then I've been told that it's going to take more. And so I don't know. I've got a couple of them, so I should be able to make at least one pair of um, socks. And but I didn't know. I don't know how to do magic loop without the ladders. And so my husband went and got me DPNs, the size that I needed. I needed two different sizes: one for the ribbing, and then one for the um, the body of it. And um, I'm doing the sock from Tin Can Knits. I think it's called Rye or Rye Light. And, um, it's just got, knocking everything over. 
it's just got a simple garter there and um it's a really easy sock but it's really really slow because dpn's for me is slow and so i do a row around here and around there um i don't know how to make it go any faster besides just do around here and around there and so they're taking forever but um um, it's a free pattern on Ravelry, and that'll be linked as well. But um, I'm doing the biggest size because he he has a big foot, and I was too lazy to gauge his watch. And so um, I'm just hoping that this fits. I'm using the size needles that it calls for, but I don't know if it'll work. We'll find out whenever I get it made. If they don't work, I'm not taking them out. I'll just give them to somebody who can wear them all I got to say. Um, I've got some of this yarn here in red as well. I really like this. I'm kind of leery about how thin it is, but it's really, really soft. I like it. I wish I could take and make a sweater or a shawl or something in this and it not take forever, but um, it's really, really soft. I like it. Um, I've got some other stuff. Oh, the sweater that I was talking about earlier. This is... Hmm. I can't remember the name. I think it's from Hedgehog Fibers. Um, the sweater pattern that I got. I'll link it down below. But, um, it's the first sweater pattern that I've made. And... I want to say that I, I'm doing the large. It's big, though. Um, it, it has a lot of positive ease. I'm hoping that whenever um, I block it, it'll kind of work its way because it it's a little short. And I figure whenever I block it, it'll stretch some so it'll be a little bit longer. If not, I can wear a um, tank top underneath it. But um, I'm doing it exactly the way the pattern calls for besides the neck. The neck calls for, I can't remember if it said an inch and a half or two and a half inches of collar, but the collar was ginormous. And I'm not one to have a big, I, I, whenever it comes to my sweaters, I don't want big collars. I want it to be kind of close up, not choking you, but close up. And, um, my hair so whenever the pattern says that you take and knit two for every three um i knew that it was going gonna go in at least a third of the way but it still felt a little uh big to me so i decreased a little bit more and it was too small so i had to take it out and i fixed it and then i took and did a stretchy bind off so that it would uh it would stretch good um but I just did a small ribbing on the neck. I didn't do much because um, I didn't. I I don't care. I don't care. Um, but I got the body of the sweater done and did the ribbing. Um, and I'm working on one sleeve. The pattern calls for you to take and this is top down i don't know if i said that but it's top down i've never done a sweater before much less top down but it takes and has you um hold off stitches is that the way you're supposed to say it i don't know but you put some stitches on a piece of yarn or lifeline or whatever and uh you continue making the body and i've started on the first sleeve here knocking stuff over um but i've started on the first sleeve here that's why i'm knocking it over i got my sock yarn tangled up with my sweater yarn i got a bunch of whips and they're just everywhere but um i started the first sleeve and you can tell here this light gray that's what i've done so far that light gray there um and then i tried to and I don't know. I'm trying to 
do it in the same order as the body is so it doesn't look too bad and I'm gonna make the sleeves to match so that it doesn't look funky because my OCD won't I have bad OCD when it comes to that stuff it's got to be even but um but yeah I got 16 inch circulars here this is do I still have the wrapper here I guess not I don't know where it's at. They're just the Lion Brand 16-inch um, circulars. Um, I don't know what size they are. I think they're size 4 or 5, whatever the pattern calls for. Um, it's in there. The pattern says to do circulars and then DPNs if you need for the sleeves. And I didn't want to use DPNs. And so I just got a 16-inch circular. And it's a little tight, but it'll work. It works for me um, the yarn that I'm using for this I've had this yarn put back for a rainy day because my favorite color is purple and this is my I, I love this yarn and um, it's Mandela baby and this colorway is magic moon um, it's a number three weight yarn there's 590 yards in one cake and i'm just in the second one um whenever i started the sleeve i took the second cake apart and um have individual colors here like this i don't like taking cakes apart i like to let them lay the way they lay but at the same time I wanted this a specific way so I took the cakes part and um, yeah I, I wanted it I wanted it to lay a certain way um, what else I got new yarn um, we had to go to Dollar Tree for coin rollers because I mean, we put change in a bucket, my husband does, and we were wanting to take it to the bank, and so we were looking for coin rollers. Where I live, there's not a Walmart or anything here. Um, we have to drive about 30 minutes or so to get to anything important. And so, um, there's a Dollar Tree here, though. Go figure. Um, but, I'd heard from Jennifer, I think her name is, Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches, I heard her talk about finding yarn at Dollar Tree, and um, so before I moved here, um, I looked at my Dollar Tree where I lived in Arkansas, and there wasn't anything there. That Dollar Tree doesn't get anything good. Um, if it's not yarn, it's not good, right? But um, I kept looking and couldn't find it, and so I just gave up. And we went to the Dollar Tree up here in Missouri, and um, I found this yarn. I was shocked because I've wanted this yarn for a while. And I just wanted to be able to say I got yarn from Dollar Tree because I think it's so cool. Um, but I got these two here. It's called Just Yarn from Premier. It's the worsted version. They had some there, too, that was like velvety. Is that what it is? The... Yeah, I, I would say it's the kind of like velvet yarn. Um, but they had several colors in this. They didn't have a bunch of each color, but they did have four or five, six colors. And I got the cranberry color. And they had one that was kind of a gray taupe color that I liked with this. But they didn't have two skeins of it. And so I went ahead and grabbed the white. And I got four total. So I got two of this and two of this. And I don't know what I'm going to make with it, but I'm excited. If you have any ideas what um, what I could make with it, there's 131 yards per skein. It's a number four weight. There's 60 grams, 120 meters. It's 100% acrylic. Um, it says that you can machine wash warm and dry. So... It's really, really soft. It's, I would make a sweater or a scarf or something with it. It's soft. 
Um, I like it. But, um, it says it's a four weight. I'd say it is. Um, but yeah. If you have any ideas on what I could make with it, I'd like to hear. It doesn't matter if it's a rivalry or whatever. I'll take a look at it. Um, but yeah. Uh, I think that's it. Made my husband a hat and cowl. And he wears it every day. He's a, um, he's a truck driver. And he, he's home every day. He's not one that goes out and works for a week at a time. And I'm kind of glad. Um, but he go, he goes out and he had to work in the cold because last week we got a, um, we got a cold snap, got mm, close to a foot of snow and um he he had to go outside and work in it and he's like i'm glad that i got a hat and cowl that i knitted he he loves it he has worn it smooth out i'm gonna have to make him a new set every winter in order for him to keep using them because i'm the first one i made the set that he's wearing now is 100 percent acrylic and it's all worn out i'm gonna have to get like wool maybe fisherman's wool or something because it's supposed to be a little water resistant i don't know um but i'm gonna have to get him some of that so that i can make him a set for next winter and hopefully that one will hold up just a little bit um but yeah i've got another couple wimps but i will Leave that for another day so that maybe I can stay interesting to y'all. Um, but yeah. Uh, I hope that whatever I talked about was interesting to you. Um, you can find all of the links here for the yarn, where I got the yarn, sweater pattern, all of that. You can find all of that in the description box below. Um, I do have a Ravelry. Uh, account and I'll probably put the show notes there as well um, you can find me on Instagram I post pictures every now and then and yeah I hope y'all have a wonderful day and stay warm it's it, it's weird here last week it was a foot of snow this week I'm wearing shorts so wherever you're at Stay warm, stay cool, whatever. Y'all have a wonderful day.